Okay, this is uh, going to be homegrown Joe and Stephanie's VGM venison meatloaf. I figure that there is about a pound and three quarters or possibly two pounds of ground venison. I've got um, our homemade uh, Irish sourdough bread that, that Stephanie makes and some of the cornbread. And it was pretty dry, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get this uh, crumbed up, and then we'll we'll smash it down with a hammer in a bag uh, once it comes out of the oven. So right now I'm going to put it in the oven to get the rest of the moisture out of it. Okay, so I'm going to take about two thirds or so of this onion here. And then uh, from there, uh, that's going to go into that'll go into the meatloaf. decided if I'm going to saute these before I mix them into the meatloaf. Sometimes I like to put them in there uncooked and then they cook just in the oven and then sometimes I like to saute them. Alright y'all are still hanging out with Joe in the VGM kitchen. We got the last of that extra onion there store that in the fridge. We got the junk going into the VGM compost and pile in the backyard, y'all, where we are preparing to fertilize our urban farming outfit. Now, we're going to march over here and do a couple things. I got the venison again, and now... I'm pulling out the super weapon, the secret weapon. Don't y'all tell nobody about the secret weapon. This is just between me and you. That's right. It's Jimmy Dean. And we're just going to take a little bit of uh, a little bit of Jimmy Dean here and add Jimmy Dean into the mix. Not a lot, you know. I don't I don't put I don't rely on Jimmy too much and Jimmy I could do this without you, but hey, time speed as they are, and we got a little extra cream on top of things right now because I'm doing floors, and they pulled me off the floor because the plumbers had to come in, and the tile guys, and the contractor got everything all done in the wrong order. And so I had to pull off. So we're going to get this out of the way now. Got our onions out of the way. So just kind of, these ingredients just kind of are really almost what's around, you know. It, uh, it don't matter. Um, to be, you know, so exact on everything. Um, that's not always the way we roll. But uh, you can see my garlic's not looking good. I'm a little disappointed in that. Stop the presses, damn. The VGM, uh, first time in the history, is out of garlic. Fresh garlic in the house. Uh, can't believe that. We're throwing an egg into the ground venison, the garlic, and the um, Jimmy Dean's. And I'm going to go ahead and mash that together. Um, 
stuff uh, we got the breadcrumbs and all that still drying in the oven we're getting okay so I decided uh, not to uh, saute the onions because I don't want to right now so there goes the onions and that and we'll get the onions and all this into the into the meatloaf and uh, we're uh, get this in here real good like that now this ain't for canela this time this is for the human members of the household only if she's lucky she might get what the Scottish call a wee bit but got uh, tomatoes here uh, my tomatoes out in the backyard uh, I don't have any fruit on them yet but man I've got me 20 something plants that look great we're gonna go back there uh, later and look at the garden because I haven't done a VGM garden video in a long time I'm gonna take uh, half of this can and put it in there and the other half in there never store stuff in a can once you open it y'all uh, bad idea that goes over there we're gonna get back to the meatloaf here like this I've got a rosemary plant on the side of the house, enormous. I think I'll add some rosemary in here. Uh, my breadcrumbs are still drying, man. So I've got an egg in here, I've got onions, I've got uh, some fresh garlic, not much. I've got some pork sausage and uh, deer venison. I've got venison in here that's ground. ground. Alright, uh, next will be to add the breadcrumbs, shape it into a loaf, add rosemary, put it in the oven, all that good stuff. Man, this is going to be good. We've got a, uh, I've got a trio, a little band that performs every Wednesday night in a bar down the street. So we're going to have to wrap this up and get me fed and out of here. Stephanie will be home soon from her job and she and I can share this dinner before we go to our gig um, as well uh, we're going to do a little wild crafting I'm going to show y'all we're going to identify one plant that's very useful uh, the dandelion plant and we're going to dig up roots and uh, look at drying those roots out grinding them and uh, mixing them into coffee and cutting the coffee and stretching your coffee because I'm going to show you all how to stretch coffee man I uh, combine two techniques to stretch it and it's uh, uh, it's healthier for you as well oh yeah uh, we'll see you later